Hello, and welcome once again to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of March 9th, 2020. Well, today, the question on everyone's lips are, when will we receive the $1,400 stimulus checks? Well, to answer that question, we actually have to figure out uh, when they're going to vote on it. And from what we understand, they're going to be voting on the, the stimulus package tomorrow, hopefully in the a.m. And if it gets on President Biden's desk and he doesn't sign it until this on Friday, most likely chances the people with direct deposit won't start receiving it until probably sometime next week, towards the latter of next week. But we just have to wait right now to see if the, when the, when if, if and when the House is going to actually vote on this stimulus proposal. Because we already know that it's going to pass because they already passed the House once. And although we have some progressive Democrats that actually don't like a lot of the cutbacks that they made inside there, like the fact that there's no $15 an hour minimum wage in there, the unemployment boost was at 400 and it got knocked down to $300 a week, even though it got extended a few extra weeks into September, of August. So it's sort of an evil bounce out there. But basically, it really breaks down like this for you guys. I mean... If you're an individual tax filer, you will receive a $1,400 stimulus check. If you're a joint filer, you will receive a $2,800 stimulus check. Keep in mind, they're going off your 2019 tax returns if you haven't filed your 2020 ones yet. And if you've already filed your 2020 ones yet, tax returns, they'll be going off that. And that's how they're going to be getting your bank information, and they say that the direct deposits will be going out a lot faster because they've learned from the past two times. The twelve, the twelve hundred dollar one that we got last year, early last year, and the six hundred dollars one we got in January of this year, they're going off that information alone to actually get the direct payments out faster for, via direct direct deposit, and hopefully if that if that happens, a lot of people will be getting their money faster. Otherwise, if you're not don't have direct payment, they're gonna they have other means of getting you your money. And we can't also we also can't forget about the increased child tax credit. That will gives you the option to opt in and get your child child tax credit monthly instead of at the end of the year, or you can file at the end of the year as well. And tomorrow will also be the day. Like I said, we find out we'll we find out a lot of things tomorrow. Like when the stimulus checks the stimulus package can be passed. If and when, well, I should say when we get the stimulus checks, when an extended unemployment occurs, and much, much more. So hopefully tomorrow is a very, very good day for the American citizens. I mean, we do still know that not a single Republican voted on this bill from the House to start off with. And when it got to the Senate, not a single Republican voted on it in the Senate as well. So basically, the Senate is saying, not the Senate, but the Republicans are saying that the American people don't need help and that we're just a bunch of money grubbing little butt wipes. Well, I say when it comes time to reelect these officials that are Republicans, we replace them with someone who actually does care about the American people. I mean, I do agree with them on one point. The um, There's a lot of spending in this bill that is going for unnecessary things that have nothing to do with the COVID-19. I mean, we don't need to be sending out funding to foreign countries for vaccine or anything like that because first we need to take care of our country and our people because otherwise we're not going to be respected by anyone across the world because apparently our politicians care about everyone else just not the american people but that's just what i say <laughs> but um the Progressive Democrats said that they'd actually prefer their version of the bill that was passed in the House before it went to the Senate, but they will support the Senate's version of the bill, even with these cutbacks. And Biden did say that as soon as he gets the bill, he will sign it into law. So you're probably wondering, when will you get your stimulus checks? Well, they already answered that. I mean, hopefully you'll be getting it if you get direct payment, direct deposit, probably within a week. Well, it'll start. But um, Biden did say that uh, he has yeah he wants to get it all taken care of and get started up before the end of this month, if not you know at the end of this month. But to basically give himself like a three week uh, three week 
lax period to basically get the checks out to people. But keep in mind that it is also peak tax season. So the IRS and the Treasury are spread a little bit thin as far as personnel goes right now. But so we're hopefully that doesn't, you know, hinder getting the money out to the people that need it. But if it does, it just means that we'll just get just a little bit later as far as the paper checks go. And what was it? Uh, what was her name? I forgot what her name was. I actually wrote it down. Jen, uh oh, I lost her name. There it is. And the White House Press Secretary, Jen Psaki. She's actually, she's not, she's not a bad looking girl, but um, basically said this morning that the IRS and the Treasury are working tirelessly to get the payments out to the people. In fact, you know what? I have a clip right here for saying those exact words and a bit more. I think you actually want to stick around for what a bit more she says because it has a bit more information that will help you guys out. So I shall be right back. As the president said last week, once the rescue plan is signed, we'll be able to start getting payments out this month. Treasury and IRS are working tirelessly to make that happen. The IRS and Bureau of the Fiscal Service are building on lessons learned from previous rounds to increase the number of households that will get electronic payments, which are substantially faster than checks. And a number of you and, and obviously the American people have asked a lot of good questions about how this process works. So we thought we'd try to answer some of them. Uh, for households who have already filed their tax, their income tax return for 2020, the IRS will use that information to determine eligibility and size of payments. For households that haven't yet filed for 2020, the IRS will review records from 2019 to determine eligibility and the size of payment. That includes those who use the non-filer por non -filer portal uh, for previous rounds of payments, which is a question I think somebody asked sort of about yesterday. For tax returns with direct deposit or bank account information, the IRS will be able to send money electronically. And for those households for which Treasury cannot determine a bank account, paper checks or debit cards will be sent. Of course, we're not taking anything for granted. We're, we're pushing through the finish line here, but uh, you all have asked some really good questions about the implementation that we wanted to get ahead of. So here's what this all means for a typical family of four. With parents making under $150,000 a year combined and with kids in school age eight and five, uh, because of the president's rescue plan, that family of four will soon be getting $5,600 in direct payments. And because of the expanded child tax credit, they'll get $2,600 in addition to that. So that's $8,200 more in the pockets of this family as they try to weather this storm on top of additional money in this bill to reopen schools safely, get shots in arms, and help those who've lost their jobs through no fault of their own. Caitlin. A few questions for you, but one on the stimulus checks mm -hmm. you are talking about who is getting them. You've, you and the president have both said that they're going to be going out this month, but the last round they went out pretty quickly, I think within a few days. So do you know any more specific timing on when people should expect them? It's something our Treasury team is working on uh, and, and working to expedite, of course, and that's a priority to the president. One of the steps they're taking is working to ensure more people can get them electronically because that, of course, speeds it up. So let me actually just give you, because I have a, a little bit more detail here, Caitlin, um, in terms of how it will work. Um, so the first batch of payments will go to all taxpayers who provided direct deposit in their 2019 or 2020 returns, followed by taxpayers who didn't provide that information but for whom the IRS has payment information from other programs. Uh, and of course, uh, as the president said, once the bill is passed, we'll be able to start getting these payments out this month. But in terms of more specifics, we're waiting for them to get all their systems in place and then we'll hope to have an update. And any update on whether or not he wants his signature on there like former President Trump demanded? Well, we are, we are doing everything in our power to expedite the payments and not delay them, which is why the president's name will not appear on the memo line of this round of stimulus checks. Uh, the checks will be signed by a career official at the Bureau of Fiscal Service. This is not about him. This is about the American people getting relief, All, almost 160 million of them. So did he did not want his name to appear on the checks? He didn't think that was a priority or a necessary step. His focus was on getting them out as quickly as possible. And as you noticed, she said that uh, for those without direct deposit, you'll receive a debit card or a paper check. So what you get one of the two if you don't have direct deposit. But for those who do have direct deposit, they'll either if you haven't filed your 2020 tax returns yet, they'll go after 2019 tax returns to direct deposit and to find out if you're eligible or not. Otherwise, they'll go after 2020 tax returns to find out if you have direct deposit or eligible or not.
But as she said, that the president said that the stimulus checks will be going out by or by or before the end of this month. As you also notice inside the bill, President Biden's name will not be on the stimulus checks because he thinks the American people is more important than putting his name on a check. Unlike former President Donald Trump, who thought that it's important to have my name on all the stimulus checks so that people know that it comes from me. Well, what he does, what he didn't realize is the stimulus checks did not come from him. People paid into this this pro- progress, and so basically, we just got more of our money back than we usually do. But that's just me going on and on. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. And as soon as I find out when the when this bill gets passed by the House, I will broadcast and let you guys know happily what's going on and try to give you more information. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. I'll broadcast to you later. Bye.